So now for guitar. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, move right over to the lute now. Um, I know it doesn't look like a lute, um, but we're going to use our imaginations to play a little uh, John Dowling, Back to the Renaissance. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back in a little while. We'll talk more about it then. For now, we'll move through time a little bit later um, to uh, a, uh, a composer and guitarist um, uh, named uh, Amelia Giuliani Guglielmi. Um, uh, if you are uh, familiar with some uh, classical guitar music, um, uh, you, you may have heard the name Giuliani, um, usually preceded by Mara, uh, which happens to be uh, her father. Um, uh, Amelia was a phenomenal guitarist in her own right um, and composer. Um, a lot of her works, uh, though she was pretty prolific, a lot of her works have been lost. Um, but uh, uh, they, they, they seem to keep resurfacing and we get to keep enjoying them. So um, this is uh, one of her preludes. Thank you. 
piece. It just, uh, it goes places. I like it. <clears throat> um, yeah, we're already there. Uh, this next one uh, is, a, is a, 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 a tune that goes some places. Um, this is uh, a piece that I composed um, over the last couple years. I've been, I've been refining it. Um, uh, it, uh, it kind of started around, around Fiona and um, the, the disruptions um, to life that that causes. And of course, uh, there are uh, many, many other uh, factors and, and things that can um, uh, <laughs> uh, interrupt plans and such. So this is kind of a culmination of, of feelings uh, over the past few years. Um, but uh, I'm pretty excited about it. This is Interruptions.
need a breather. I've got a piece by Augustine Barrios Mangori, who uh, is a phenomenal uh, guitar player um, and composer. Um, this piece, uh, La Cathedral, um, is, uh, is a pretty famous work. Um, and uh, I don't know if I have much more to say about it than that. Um, let's uh, imagine that we are in a cathedral and uh, 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 just uh, embrace whatever, whatever emotions are pulled out of you uh, through uh, these, these notes.
Thank you. Now I've had enough of this guitar. Uh, <laughs> we are back to, uh, this is a, a gitalele. Um, so it is a basically a six string ukulele. Um, and uh, <laughs> when I, when I uh, first started here, I was like, I wonder how I'm gonna get ukulele into this program. Uh, this, is, this is the first step. <laughs> um, but uh, this, this uh, 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 instrument works really, really well for, for lute stuff. Um, it just has a, a tonal quality that just kind of lends itself uh, to the lute. Um, these next pair of pieces that uh, I'm gonna uh, close out with um, are both pieces written for the theorbo. Um, the theorbo is a, uh, basically a six foot long lute with uh, 14 some odd strings, um, depending, on, uh, depending on the model or the maker. Um, and um, uh, fun fact, uh, this instrument is much smaller. Um, so how, how does that work? Well, uh, I, I kind of carefully arranged it to, to try and capture the, uh, uh, the essence of these pieces um, working off of the, um, uh, the original manuscripts um, written by both Capsberger and uh, Debussy um, to, uh, to try and make something uh, uh, that, uh, you know, that works on this uh, instrument with fewer strings um, uh, still, still captures the, uh, the essence of the piece. Uh, we're almost there. There we go. All right, so. Um, until I manage to get a Theorbo, here's Capsberger. <laughs> 